what's lovely is the junior school join the senior school and we share because she doesn't just help you to celebrate being <laughs> and rugby. Welcome to Queen's College Taunton and as you can see we've got a magnificent building and yes it is a little bit like Harry Potter and Hogwarts. The school has been running now for 175 years so there's lots of history embedded both within the buildings and within the culture of the school. So it's a beautiful entrance and this is where our day pupils will start the day by arriving and coming into the school for their registration. Our boarding students will actually be sleeping up in these rooms up here. So this is the boys' boarding house and it's the middle floor and the top floor where the boys sleep. So all of the boys have beautiful aspect looking out over the local countryside. So welcome to Queen's. This is the main corridor of the school and as you can see there are notices all the way down the sides and on these notice boards are all our co-curricular activities and information about the sports fixtures for the coming week. So here's some examples of some of our co-curricular activities. So we have an international group who will entertain the whole school with different themed events. So it could be making food or it could be sharing different culture, cultural festivals or anything like that. And then over here on this board gives you a real understanding of the complexity of the choices that we have for co-curricular activities. So it could be that on a Thursday you might want to do computing club or cookery club or design club or football with Exeter City Football Club or running club or science and nature stock market challenge or go and volunteer at the local hospital. So there's lots and lots of variety of activities for all year groups to do. So what I love about Queen's is the fact that you have old and new. So here is obviously one of the main thoroughfares of the school and you've got all this beautiful old panelling and you do get that real sense of tradition yet contemporary education. So just looking through into one of these classrooms, you can see, we haven't got any students in this one at the moment, but you can see the sort of typical size that you might find in a classroom uh, for our students from the ages of 11 to about 14. So in here is, is our Wyvern Hall and the Wyvern Hall is used for many activities. It could be a formal event where we will have dinner and it could be the boarders um, formal dinner that we will have here where the boarders dress up in beautiful clothes and we have a nice meal or it could be used for dance rehearsals and as you can see a whole wall here of mirrors which helps with the dance classes and behind these mirrors is a concertina seating arrangement. So we can have informal um, lectures in here and um, many, many sort of presentations will happen in this beautiful room. I love this part of the school because this is um, one of the old archways, the, the, the formal building and the, and the old structure of the building, but you can actually see this way is looking out for where the day students will arrive. And literally that's where the cars stop so no cars, no traffic will come through the site. And then looking out over this aspect is where we have our education. And as you can see nestled in between the buildings is this beautiful panorama of the, of the games facilities that we have and the, and the amazing fields that we've got for our students to um, spend time on. So I'm going to take you into the old music room and it's one of my favourite spaces in the school because in here is some beautiful acoustics. We'll use it for lots of activities, whether it's uh, here, which was clearly for a lecture last night, or it's informal music concerts or rehearsal space. So we really celebrate our history. So these are some of the pictures of our former pupils, some of the caps that they've got, playing sport for England, various cups that have been awarded to them. So I'm gonna take you now into our Queen's Hall, which is where we do um, our major productions. So we're currently in the middle of doing our dance show. So we've already had one matinee this morning and the students are um, having their lunch. We have the most amazing facilities here. So we've got some lovely dance teachers. I wonder if you can wave, thank you. They are all very friendly, but they're having a bit of time out in between the shows. We beat you. We band the brothers. One of the 
things that we really celebrate with the students is not just their ability on the stage but also technical ability behind the scenes. Consequently many of our students will go on into technical theatre. I'm just going to invite you into the music department. It's slightly been taken over by the dance show because when we, when we do a show this also then becomes all our dressing rooms but these rooms are well used. This would normally be our lovely music um, classroom um, but today it's been taken over by lots of makeup. Um, but as you can see, there's a real sense that everybody gets involved. It's not just the students on the stage. There's even somebody massaging a foot going on here. You can see where the director of music is in residence. He's very enthusiastic with his assistant as well. And both, we're always looking for musicians, especially, what, what do you need this year, Mr. Jenkins? Well, especially looking for violinists and French horn players. Or any brass players, actually. Great. So lots of opportunities to play instruments and be involved in Concerts and concerts, internal concerts, external concerts, 15 ensembles a week, show bands, you name it, we do it. And Miss Wills, what's your specialism? What do you love? What are you I passionate about? I am a singer. About? I love all singers. I love any kind of singing. So anybody that can make any sort of sound is in, basically. Oh, So welcome to the drama department. So this is our 10 by 10 meter um, black box studio uh, with all the mod cons. This is a year 12 performance, getting ready for this evening to perform. Um, it's um, quite an abstract piece that they're doing, but they've done really well. Um, and a lot of this kind of experimental stuff goes on in our studio and this has basically come straight from them. It's, um, it's really lovely, it's really creative. It's quite dark, not quite sure what it's about, but it's exciting. You cannot be satisfied. You cannot be satisfied. So we're just about to go into the chemistry lab. So we're going to go into a year seven class. This is our head teacher, yeah. um, this is Dr. Apps, and they're doing chemistry at the moment. Guys, you've already identified. Um, comment on your results for the methyl oxides, and some methyl oxides do not be up to the this is a lovely view um, and this, is, this really should contextualise the school for you because you can see the hills up there over in the distance and that's where a lot of our students will go for Duke of Edinburgh expedition. But these are our playing fields. You can see that our students really genuinely do tumble out of the classroom into their sports. Two Astros as well in the corner as well as the tennis court. Now we're just approaching now the design and technology and food and nutrition block. So again, this space is open in the evenings, open at the weekends. So we not only teach the formal qualifications in these subjects, but also have many clubs and activities outside of the classroom time. Hello, it looks like we're just coming actually at the height of activity. I don't know what they're making, but it looks fun. And this is Miss Mackey, and she's in charge of this, this area. Yes, they're doing the GCSE practical. It's a three hour practical exam, making delicious and presenting them. Everything going to plan? Crying because you've been cutting onions. No, you're... Toby, what are you making? Well, I've made steak pies, I'm currently doing a and then I'm going to do Thank you, good luck everybody. A newly furbished workshop. Currently it looks like the students are actually working in the classroom, so we'll go through there. But you can see this is a place, a hive of activity. Certainly the equipment is very much in use. This is Mr Wilson. 
I've been brilliant at inspiring students very much into understanding the practical realisation of this subject. Mr Wilson, your background? So. Yeah, teacher as an architect and then switch to teaching. Yeah, which again is really useful as a teacher to be able to bring that experience into the classroom. So I'm kind of designing my house at the moment, just practising doing architecture. Um, but doing the practical side of it's really fun because we have the whole workshop in there, which is, is which pretty cool. So the sixth form centre is slightly away from the teaching areas of the school. It's not far. It's only a minute's walk back up to the teaching space, but it does get for them dedicated space. Make sure that they are prepared for their A-levels and for their university destinations. During the daytime, this is an area as well where the students can work and study. Um, and it's a nice, quiet space and a place that really does help them concentrate. The kitchen here, so the students will always have access to fresh fruit, cups of tea, cups of coffee, and then out the back there's a bigger kitchen where they can also make food should they need to. So the sixth form space is open in the evenings through till nine o'clock, so day students and boarding students will work together in this space. So this, this room tends to be a little bit more collaborative, um, and then again, depending on your, your needs as a learner, this room is silent. And students working in this area really do have uh, access to complete silence. We're going to see Mrs Wilde, who is our head of sixth form. Hello, nice <laughs> to meet you. So Mrs Wilde, not only in charge of um, the sixth form, but she also is very actively involved in the English department and in the sports department. Welcome to the sixth form. Here we are particularly friendly and always ready to listen to anybody's issues and uh, academic concerns or right. personal issues and get them ready for life. Why have you got some Easter eggs? That is because we have tonight, we have karaoke run by the sixth form to um, bribe them into participating in one of the many social events that we run down here, but student led. Thank you. Thank you. Coming around the back of the sixth form building here. And in the summer, and when the weather's nice, the students that come out here and can study out here and you can hear it's beautifully quiet and a really great place to relax and enjoy your time at Queen's College. Living here at Queen's, you're surrounded by people who have come from similar scenarios or circumstances, so it's been very easy to settle into. The boarding house is quite a cool place, like it actually feels like home. Our house parents are really nice and they explain everything to me really quickly. It took me about an hour to settle into the boarding house. The people were really friendly and so it was really easy to settle in. I'm always impressed by the parents who put their trust in us to look after their children. And I think all of the staff have in their minds, if that were my child, how would I want them to be treated? I'm just going to take you into an area that we call the covers and it's where we teach economics, um, politics and business studies. Brilliant space, because as you come in you'll see, we'll go into the economics class. Hello, welcome to Business and Economics. Um, we're really lucky here to have a very vibrant uh, set of subjects studying in this community. Um, this class here is a year 12 economics class in the first year of the A level. What are you hoping to do in the future, Oliver? Uh, accounting. Accounting. So yeah, so good preparation, good, good A levels. The other Oliver, yeah. what's your plans? Uh, probably something with economics. Something to do with economics as well? Yeah. Hands up in this class if you might study a business or economics related degree. Yeah, it's yeah. incredibly popular. Yeah. And we're really lucky, many of our students go on to great universities to study economics and business. And I am going to put point Will out. Will, just wave please for me. Will is actually one of our very um, interesting students because he represents the school uh, in terms of equestrian events. And um, it's, well, I think it's pretty famous really in our, in our books because he, he <laughs> here you are, uh, because he will event and compete in front of the Queen, no less. So there, the attitudes that will support education, cultural deprivation, lack of the attitudes, the attitudes aren't there for education. Material capital, <laughs> having the resources that are going to support education. So welcome to the sports hall and it's the place to find Mr Mann. Uh, Mr Mann is head of boys sport. 
that. And your sport, main sport is for you, Mr. Mann? Hockey. Yes. <laughs> and rugby. And rugby. Yeah. And cricket. <laughs> To the top part of um, the gallery and we've got some of the girls using the equipment at the moment and I think what you will find in this provision here at Queen's this isn't the only sports um, gym equipment we've got the whole room downstairs which I'll show you in a minute but they are well used and our students do have access to them so our boarders can come here after school come here in the evening and our day students as well it's lunchtime. The students are now coming out of their classes and going to their day room. So all of year eight and year seven are in the same space. Boys and girls together, no, boarders no, and day students time. together. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get girls? No, not yet. No. What's on the menu, do you know? Uh, Rose, yum. Yeah. We not like that. Savage. So it's lunchtime and the students are now queuing up for their lunch. Um, Tiger, are you looking forward to your lunch? Yeah. Yeah, good. So Charlotte here is on duty, um, so we ask our students in the senior part of the school to take duties and to help show leadership skills and Charlotte's doing very well at organising everybody getting to lunch. So the students eat with the staff, we've got the choice of hoisin duck I think it is, um, all sorts of opportunities, you can mix and match so you can have hot and cold, it's always a jacket potato pasta with two sauces and obviously a large range of salads and things. So thank you so much for watching the story of Queen's. We do hope that you will explore this a little bit further and make contact with us because we'd like to meet you in person.